Hi, welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Mark Siam, and today we're in the labs of Intel to learn about something to do with overclocking. Now, overclocking Intel's always been built as something to be easy for anyone to get into. And there's a new feature, new technology, new methodology that I want to learn about. It's got to do with AI. Joining me today is Ivy to tell me all about it. Ivy, thanks for joining Talking Tech. First, can you tell me a little bit about you, what you do at Intel? Yeah, my name is Ivy. I'm the principal engineer at the CCG. My work is most focused on the AI algorithm design and the development. Perfect. So you're the right person to talk to about AI. And I've heard it's called AI Assist, and it has something to do with overclocking. So can you just give me an overview of what is AI Assist and what does it have to do with overclocking? Right, the AI Assist is a software feature that uses AI model to generate overclocking proposals for different users' platform. I see. And uh, typically, if you want to make overclocking easy and you have an Intel platform, use software called Intel XTU. Uh, tell me about the relationship between XTU and AI Assist. AI Assist is one of the features of Intel XTU. So which helps users to do the overclocking much easier. I see. So easy overclocking. Uh, I know there are various other features that have made overclocking very easy in XTU, but AI Assist is new. So what's an overview? Tell me more about AI Assist and, and how it works for overclocking. Right. AI Assist basically will um, first probe the system to get to know what is on the system, how the system works. And based on that, we propose overclocking values to user. Now, how is this different from uh, another easy way to overclock, the Intel Speed Optimizer that's been in XTU and supported for several generations? Intel Speed Optimizer ISO is kind of modest one-size-fits-all measure for user. So it doesn't differentiate different configurations. Instead, AI Assist will learn from the different system configuration and uh, propose customized overclocking values to user. So what is the... Can you summarize what is the AI part of AI? AI? It says that you know it's more customized. So what is the AI at work uh, for AI Assist and how it differs? Because you, like you said, it's a one size fits all for for Intel Speed Optimizer. But this one sounds like it's a it's a more tailored solution to the system. Is that is that about right? Exactly. Yeah. So when we train the AI Assist model, we take into account different system characteristics. Uh, for example, the power, thermal, voltage utilization, etc. Based on that, to learn a good overclocking values for user. And because this is new, uh, what what platforms are supported right now with AI Assist? As of today, we support Intel 14900K and KF series. How do you train that model with with just this collection of, of CPUs? What kind of data did you uh, use to train the model? Yeah, we train the model based on data collected on hundreds of CPU, uh, many different type of coolers, multiple type of motherboard, and different combinations of them. So our intention was to cover representative configurations from low, mid to high end across the market. And you know, as you're saying, like you know, Intel Speed Optimizer is one size fits all over the widest array of system configurations possible. But it sounds like AI Assist is, takes into account if someone's using um, a very large all-in-one cooler or they're using an air cooler, people will get different overclocking AI-assisted overclocking results based on their individual systems. Is that right? Exactly. Okay. Um, and what if someone makes a change to their system? You know, it's you know, whereas I think people can expect the same uh, proposal from Intel Speed Optimizer. Can someone expect something different if they make a, a, a massive upgrade to a certain component in their system? Is that something they could run again? Yeah, if a user has hardware changes like a new cooler or different motherboard, they're welcome to rerun the AI Assist to update the overclocking values. How much of a challenge was it to account for all these different system configurations? It can be impossible to cover each and every configurations over there on the market. What we do is we find most representative ones and we try to capture data on those representative ones to cover like from low end to median to high end configurations. And this is early days. Are, are, you, are you continuing to iterate? Is there going to be more data fed in, into the system to make it smarter over time? 
Yeah, yes, we are working on continuously improving the AI model. We are collecting more and more data on different configurations actually right in this lab. Okay, so, so that actually means that not only could a user potentially rerun AI Assist if they make a change to their system, but potentially in future updates uh, with more data, they, they could possibly get a different configuration at that time as well. That's right. Okay, this is great innovation from Intel. But the great thing about our business is that our partners innovate with us too. How does AI Assist differ in some of the ways that um, some of our partners have tried to implement AI um, in their easy overclocking solutions? Yeah, our partner solution may work for certain type of platforms. Our AI Assist is platform agnostic and works across all platforms that use Intel CPU and XTU. We haven't seen details revealed by partners, but for our own solution, we have rigorously trained the AI model on comprehensive data, and we have getting high confidence overclocking values. Anytime we're dealing with overclocking, uh, typically the users love to configure and tune their systems. Is, is AI Assist a, a good way for some people to think about it? Is It's a very good starting point. Does it mean that that's all the headroom there is, or could the user still go in and have a little bit more advanced tuning to be able to maybe potentially even get a little more out of the system? Oh, definitely they can. Yeah, as you mentioned, AI Assist is easy to use and give people a very good start already, starting point already. But users are, they can still leverage XTO to further fine tune their system manually and iteratively. Oh, great. So even experienced overclockers could find use for this tool because it just gives them a starting point um, that takes into you know, all the telemetry of this data. That's right. And actually, can you tell me a little bit about how um, it works in practice um, with XTU? I know with, with the Intel Speed Optimizer, it's one click, there's the settings, you apply them, and there it is. Does, does this take a long time to run uh, AI Assist on XTU, or is it a fairly quick process itself? It's actually also fairly very quick. We take the actual 30 seconds to learn about the, your system. And then based on that, we can give a customized recommendation. Well, Ivy, thank you so much for explaining AI Assist to me. This is very cool, great work. And I hope the overclocking community will find lots to play with and great success with AI Assist on next to you. Thank you very much. OK, so while I'm still in the lab, I want to see this in action. Stay tuned for a demo coming right up. Joining me now is Matt to show me what's new in overclocking from Intel. Great. Matt, thanks for joining me. Uh, first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, who are you and what do you do? Yeah, so my name's Matt Fife. I'm the uh, senior architect on the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. And um, I'm here today to show you a demo and talk about the new AI Assist overclocking feature. Great, uh, Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, also known as Intel XTU. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's right, the new AI Assist overclocking feature. So let's let's get right into it. First of all, tell me what do we have here? What are we looking at? Yeah, so uh, currently right now we have the Intel uh, brand new Intel i9-14900KF processor. Um, we have a new uh, setup with a system uh, here. And we also have the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility loaded on this system. Um, and the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, or XTU, is freely available to anyone who wants who has an Intel Unlock processor. It's free to download on the Intel Download Center. So. And so again, this is the, the 14th gen uh, i9-14900KF, mm -hmm. and it's a new section, and that says AI Assist. So uh, I can't wait. Can we just jump into the how that one looks first? Absolutely. So uh, yeah, uh, so in the tool, we have a lot of different controls. And uh, for uh, systems that perf that will support AI Assist, there will be this new feature called AI Assist. All right, simple And enough. we can take a look at this. So. Uh, this is the intro page for the feature, and you'll notice that you know there's a, a couple little uh, points, and then uh, the ability to run what we call here the characterize. Under there, I see it says an easier way to overclock your system. So again, like XTU is all about making overclocking easy. This says there's an even easier way. So what's what's easier about it? What yeah. does it do? Yeah. So AI Assist is a feature inside of XTU that first characterizes your system by running a couple little workloads. And then based on that characterization, it feeds that data into a trained AI model and then comes up with a set of proposed tuning values for you. So the AI Assist um, kind of gives you a one-click way to characterize and then get a set of AI-recommended values for your system. Okay, so easier and smarter. 
Yeah. Um, well, would you, would you mind showing me just right Absolutely. now? Absolutely. Yeah. So some important things to know about AI Assist as you start off are um, we, we give you some tips on AI Assist. There's a few things that we would recommend that you do first, one of which is to restore your system to system default. So first go into BIOS and set all your system back to default settings. That gives us a good baseline to start from. So we recommend that first and then get your system up and going with overclock enabled and then close all your other applications, and then start the characterization, which we'll go ahead and do now. And that makes sense. You just want to feed AI Assist clean data. Exactly, Got correct. It. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that started. And you'll see that AI Assist is now running. And on, on this system, it's it takes about 30 seconds. Yeah, there's a countdown seconds. right yep. there, okay. Exactly. And uh, during this process right now, what it's doing is doing some characterization on your system, trying to get a good feel for what uh, your system is capable of. Um, overclocking involves more than just what your CPU can do. You can get, you know, you obviously want the best CPU you can get for overclocking, but it's also dependent on how good your cooling solution, um, how good the power delivery systems inside your computer, like does your motherboard have advanced features for overclocking support and things like that. So we're trying to figure out exactly how well your systems as a whole operates. So. And then we can see it just completed. And what you'll see is you have a set of old values and then a set of proposed new values that you can apply to your system based on the recommendations that the AI Assist gave. Now let's take a moment here to see what the uh, current values, these are actually mm -hmm. stock values because we started mm -hmm. with clean data. Yep. And uh, sh then show me what we're saying on the, the new values. What is, X, what, or what is AI Assist um, showing us here? Yeah, so first off, you'll probably notice that um, the active core performance core ratio, this ratio here is gone up. So it's recommending some higher values for, for when the, the number of cores that are active are active, what frequency it should be running at. Um, you'll also notice that uh, voltages have been recommended and a whole bunch of other settings for thermal velocity boost and things like that. So every system that will run this will potentially get a different set of values based on the particular characteristics of your system based on the cooler, what its you know operating parameters are and things like that. So and even down to the exact kind of like quality of the silicon piece itself. Exactly. Right? The so, CPU as well. So not only cooling, but sometimes it's just, you know, the 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 natural characteristics of of the of the CPU itself. Correct. And uh, it looks like for the people who aren't used to seeing this, those uh, 60x or 61x ratios mm -hmm. that translates to gigahertz. Right. So uh, stock, you're looking at you know core one, core two, that's six gigahertz. That's a stock speed. Mm -hmm. um, looking up to 6.1. Yeah, correct. So you're you're seeing across the board improvements for the number of active cores. Um, and it works and on the e cores too. I see. E e works on e cores, e -cores as well. Yep. These numbers are, as you said, taking into account your your cooling, your power delivery, all those sorts mm -hmm. of things. Um, and it's, it's showing you here what it proposes. And of course, it's up to the user to mm -hmm. uh, you know, apply, accept, mm -hmm. or cancel. Yeah. So, so what, what happens when they click apply? When you hit apply, it will make these values active immediately. And one really neat feature about uh, the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, XTU, is, is that it's a real-time tool for overclocking. So you can change the parameters in real time. We don't need to reboot. We don't need to go into BIOS or anything like that. So, you know, for example, if we just go ahead and apply the values, well, it will set all of these values and it'll okay. say these are now applied. Um, one of the other things you'll notice, however, is, is that all the other tabs are still available. So if you want to go to your advanced tuning tab, you'll see that all these ratios have been updated with what we saw in the advanced tuning tab. And you can still go in and change all the other values that, that are available via XTU for all of your different other settings, you know, cache ratios and, and, and other processor settings. So these are all still available as well. It is certainly an easier, uh, smarter way to overclock. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm seeing here is that for the people who really know what mm -hmm. they're doing or actually want to take the time to experiment, learn, tweak, get the most out of their, their system, their processor, their cooling, mm -hmm. uh, sounds like the, this is a great starting point mm -hmm. to say, hey, this sets the baseline. This is run through a lot of telemetry, a lot of data. Mm -hmm. And now from here, they can start, you know, pushing Even the limits a, more. Pushing the limits a little bit. Yep. Um, but that's that's freely open, right? Correct. Here. Okay. Correct. Yep. So everything's still available, and you can go in and and further tweak your system however you would like. So. And um, again, this is a great software solution. Just going back to a little bit uh, mm -hmm. earlier, you said everyone has to start with clean data. Yep. So this means you know no one needs to mess with 
th those BIOS settings. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's better just to leave those at, 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 at the factory default because um, the BIOS settings interfere with, with how this would work? Yeah, I wouldn't say that it interferes with any of the uh, training that we do. However, you will get probably get more accurate re um, recommendations if you start with base. Our models were trained with more baseline data, so it reduces the complexity of what's going on, and you're most likely to get the best recommendations if you have your system at kind of baseline defaults to start with. So I know that AI Assist is, uh, or what you've shown me shows that AI Assist is definitely making overclocking a lot smarter and easier. But um, I know that XTU has had a very easy, perhaps even one-click overclocking feature um, uh, in it as well. So, and I, which we call Intel Speed Optimizer. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between AI Assist and Intel Speed Optimizer? Yeah, actually, let's take a look, actually. Um, so. Uh, Intel Speed Optimizer, as you see here, is also available on this platform, and it's on a variety of other platforms as well uh, for the last several releases. And it provides what you said is a one-click overclocking experience as well. However, it doesn't tune itself like our, AI, our new AI Assist does. Um, it is a more of a one-size-fits-all for your class of processor that you have, but it isn't as customized for your particular setup with your particular coolers and power delivery and things like that. So um, that's why we think we're excited about the AI Assist feature because it is more cu customized to what your system is capable of. Well, okay, so this is, this is definitely making it easy. Um, you know what, a lot of people who like to overclock, they tend to like to make upgrades and changes to their system. And, and if this is ingesting information and data about uh, a whole bunch of different characteristics of a PC build. Um, what happens if if the cooling changes? Is this something that people can choose to re-roll again and again um, if they ever make like an improvement on their system? Absolutely, yeah, and and that's that's kind of part of the 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 great part about AI Assist is that it does take that into account. So you know if you upgrade your cooling system or you know change motherboards or things like that yeah you can definitely run rerun ai assist and hopefully you'll get even better values on a on a future run so yeah. and i'll have to say i actually i actually saw this in action when we're setting this up a little bit mm -hmm. earlier that there was a, a cooling change actually on this system we saw mm -hmm. and i noticed that the values have actually uh, gotten a little better with that cooling cooling upgrade so yep. yeah i uh I saw it for myself. First, first hand knowledge. First hand. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, Matt, thank you so much for your time. I'm excited uh, to see this in action. I'm excited for everyone else to get their hands on it. Yeah. And uh, can't wait to see what's next. Great. Thanks right. a lot. All right. Thank you.